Hello, this is Brett Weisbart speaking and I just have a little problem with my car. It's just that one of the cylinders is just making that noise. I thought I was going to get a new coat of paint, but it's just going to charge more if I get it repaired. So, I'll show you the mileage, what's up to now. The mileage is, according to the mileage, it's 158,099 miles. Wow, that's a lot. That's, that's so high. I don't know if this car can go up to 160,000, but let's see if this thing would work it up. Sometimes it's just hard that it won't start. have to get a new one maybe I'll just get a you or maybe I'll just get a used one if it's the same age but at lower mileage than that and now it's 159,000 mileage okay I'm gonna turn on the car and watch what the cylinder sound like Yep, that's the sound. Well, I'm going to take a quick action video what would happen if I can capture the part when my car breaks down. I'm just going to go time lapse when I drive through the parkway to home. And I'll get to the actual audio footage when, when it starts to happen. Okay then, later.
I think it suddenly broke down. Uh-oh. Oh my goodness, it's smoke! Ugh. Guess the engine's overheated. You see that? My car just broke down. Now the engine's overheated. I don't know, it might catch a fire. It might not look safe, but at least I took all my stuff out. That was lucky. Hmm. I have bad luck for my car. This just broke down. I think the engine's overheated. I'll just pull over. Well, that's it. My car is over. It's history. I'm gonna miss my hot rod. Final mileage, 159,005 mileage. Well, the reason why I didn't get enough shot for filming after when the car broke down, because it's kind of too dangerous to me panicking around in circles in the middle of the highway, because I could make cause an accident or get hurt or killed. So I better off just probably just I'll just show you the pictures about after what happened and I'll show you the picture and a quick video about the engine how bad it was well be right back okay since I'm not on the freeway anymore now I can finally check what's the problem Hmm, most of the equipment's not that horrible, but I think I should check what's really close inside. Hmm, wait. Do I... Wait, what did I, what did I just see? A piston blew a hole in the engine. Wow. Wow, I can't believe it's so, that hole's so big looks really dangerous after when the piston blew the engine more oil just popped out and my car just leaked well it could be a reason why it would have been like a burnout probably there must be a lot of smoke just popped through the exhaust system when it happened wow that's, a, that's one scary experience why when I drove a car that did broke down and what's this? There's more oil on the engine oil thing. And the oil just exploded. Wow. And what's even worse? Secretly underneath the engine has more oil. And the cylinders just pop too. Wow. Let me check the battery box. It has some rust, but probably it would still work. Yep. I s oh, there's my problem. It's it's the one of the the, the piston blew a hole in the engine and and the engine just made a huge smoke that I realized that the engine was overheated. Wow. Now I know why I can't get this car fixed in time. Well, I'm going to say farewell 1999 Toyota Camry, I'll miss you so much. Okay, I just found out the reason why my car made a clunk clunk sound because one of the, one of the cylinders just came loose and then more oil and other grease stuff clogging up the engine and then the engine blows up every time when I try to step the gas a bit harder maybe when one of the second amatometers moved up then it climbs into the red line boom it just broke down so I tried getting it repaired sent it to a mechanic they said that there's nothing we can do about it so I'm afraid that the Toyota Camry of mine has to go maybe I'll just have to find a way maybe I'll just um, Maybe sell it for parts or maybe just junk it. I'll just have to find a second car, which one I rather preferred. Well, 
Thanks for watching to see about the sad truth about my 1999 Toyota Camry retiring. That's it. Good night, folks.